shortage of public facilities is the main reason why most teenagers are not physically active, says former Deputy Youth and Sports Minister Thi Lian Ker. Thi says this has contributed to many teenagers, especially those from B40 families choosing less physically engaging lifestyles. Definitely, the, you see, we have we, it, it, it's happening all over the country. Vacant areas or or, or kawasan lapang, uh, which mm. is meant for sport activities, etc., are being privatized mm. uh, by mm. local councils, by who are, 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 are developers who approach the TV and converted to uh, uh, more commercial, prof, uh, commercially profitable. And the other thing is the maintenance of these facilities. Uh, local government is not getting enough. These comments come after Health Minister Dr. Zaliha Mustafa released statistics showing that four out of five teenagers are physically inactive, while only two of every three are somewhat active, but at a sedentary level. Meanwhile, Olympian Nora Sila Khalid says the issue of a passive lifestyle extends beyond just teenagers and suggested fostering a culture of physical activity from home. Nora Sila says when families take part in activities such as marathons and games together, it may lead to a big change in the teens' lives.